I've been interested for years in Daniel Pink's book called Drive. He suggests what motivates us at work is a desire for autonomy, mastery and purpose. And I've been thinking how this relates to stories we tell about each other at work, which are often social, practical or moral. And I think that this maps quite neatly onto Daniel Pink's model, because these are stories that tell us how we work together, what we do and why we do it. So if you want to give people more drive at work, these are the kind of for example stories we need to tell to illustrate the change we want to see. And there's a way to make them less dry and more story-like. Think of each for example story as a journey that one person has been on or is about to go on. What's the trigger, the moment when we realise we have to change? What's the setback, because there's bound to be one when we're trying something new? And how do we recover? Because that's where we really learn our lessons. Of course there is a second class of journey, the ones that end in failure. These are useful as cautionary tales, i.e. this is the path you don't want to follow, where you don't learn from mistakes and don't recover from setbacks. You'll know when you reach journey's end because the person involved feels more in control of their working life, more satisfied at the end of each day, and we know that we're doing something valuable that makes the world a better place. Alternatively, we feel like we are being controlled, we're bored, and we know we're doing something worthless. See how your change stories fit this arc, and of course, do go back to the original source and check out Drive by Daniel Pink.